now you probably know what I'm doing because it's probably in the description for starters. And two, you probably just watched me pack all this stuff into my truck. So here's the deal. Last week we went out to Blackstrap, or not to Blackstrap, to uh, Broderick Reservoir. I bought a new pistol bit. I only brought the pistol bit, I should have known better. I brought the pistol bit and my brushless, rigid, I can't reach it, 18 volt brushless, rigid, 780 or 750 um, inch pound drill. And it wouldn't drill the hole. I, I kind of, I knew that I wasn't gonna do it with the two amp hour batteries that it came with, but I thought, you know, I have four amp hours and six amp hour batteries. So I was like, oh, I'll bring the other big batteries too. And no problem. There's no way that that won't do it. I've watched a million videos of guys drilling holes. Well, it didn't do it. So I've gone out and I've procured or borrowed or begged for a pistol bit, another pistol bit. I got an, an, a, a different one because they're saying that, oh, it might be de defective. I'm not sure how this ice auger could be defective. I got a Strike Master uh, Light Flight. I have a two different Milwaukee drills. So I've got the Milwaukee 2804, which everyone, that's the drill that everyone's using. But I mean, if you have to spend $500 on a drill, just in order to run your $200 auger, you're at $700. Well, you can buy a 40 volt strike master for that. So I did, I bought a 40 volt strike master also. So I have a light flight to try with a 40 volt strike master. I have the regular flight with the strike master. I have um, the light flight with the drill adapter to try with drills. I have um, the Metabo HPT 36 volt, the Cobalt 24 volt. Uh, 1200 inch pound the new one or not new but newish I've got two different Milwaukee's the 2804 and the 2704 so the 2704 is the non-fuel brushless version I mean we've got options here and we're gonna find out which one drills better and not just which one drills better but which one costs the least amount of money while still being able to drill a good hole and that's kind of really what the moral of the story is because if I can just go buy a 40 volt auger for $700, what's the point of the pistol bit? Everyone says, oh, well, if you already have a, a drill at home, then it's great. But if the drill you have at home isn't gonna work, which from what I can see, nothing but the highest end, highest torque drills are gonna work because it didn't work for me, what's the point? I mean, no one needs a 1200 inch pound drill. I guess not no one. If you're a construction guy or whatever, you may need one. But even us, I mean, we're in construction and I don't need a 2804. So anyways, let's try them out. Let's see what happens. See you out on the ice. All right, this is it. The ultimate test, as they say. We have the Strike Master 8 inch light flight. We have the eight inch Eskimo pistol bit. We're putting brand new blades on the pistol bit. The Strike Master is brand new, right out of the box. And we have the five best drills for ice augering you can buy. At least that's what we think. So all the way up from the top, we have a Milwaukee 2804-20. Then we have the Milwaukee 2702 dash 20 so that is brushless still but not fuel then we go to the rigid brushless and i i don't remember the the model number on these two but i'll put it up right away this one's 750 inch pounds this is 1200 inch pounds the cobalt you can find the cobalt this is the cheapest one out of the group technically 229 dollars canadian so like 100 and 70 or something American, 150 American, and it only comes with one battery, but it's a 24 volt system and it's four amp hours, so it's got quite a bit of power. And last but not least is the 36 volt Metabo Hitachi Power Tool, HPT, not really Metabo, but still 36 volts, 1200 inch pounds. 
against the big boys. Let's drill some holes and see which one's actually gonna win, you guys. Don't forget about the actual real one, the 40 volt Strike Master. Let's drill some holes. Brand spanking new blades on the pistol bit. We're gonna give this guy his redemption. <clears throat> That's the rigid brushless. And the reason we're doing that is because, you know, he already had a chance and he failed. He wasn't able to do it. That being said, so the Milwaukee Fuel was able to do this when the when the uh, the blades were apparently dull or uh, what they said it was a manufactured defect on the blades. So now we're gonna give this the very very first go. We're on number one, and we're gonna drill a hole with this guy, and we're gonna see if he's able to do it with brand new blades. So this is the first drill. Rigid brushless Gen 5X 750 inch pound drill, new blades, four amp hour battery, fully warmed, fully charged. Three, two, one. Nope. No change. It is no different. I'm not pushing, just so you know. I'm just letting it just go in on its own. I'm actually holding it up now. You can do it. Oh, you're so close. I don't even want know what the time is on that, but it's not a good drill. Okay, so I'm gonna say that the rigid 750 inch pound cannot drill with the pistol bit. It's not an option. Brand new blades, we've tried everything, we've done it all. Okay, next. The last time I did this, it uh, came off the chuck. Pistol bit with the Milwaukee Fuel 2804 brushless. Mode one, full battery. This is a nine amp hour battery. In three, two, one, go. Managed to stop her. <laughs> I managed to stop it. Even with the pistol bit all the way right at the bottom, I did manage to stop the Milwaukee fuel. So we're gonna take this guy off and we're gonna go straight to the Cobalt. Cobalt XTR 24 volt brushless 1,220 inch pound drill in three, two, one. Stopped already once. Stopped again. Oh. There's another hole. Now I just want to point out something here. Every single one of these drills so far, 1,220 inch pound drills, have not been able to do this task without stopping. And I know it looks like I'm pushing. I swear, I'm just holding it. I'm just trying to keep it from spinning and giving equal torque the whole way down. And uh, the blades still look nice. But look, this is cold ice. It was minus 35 here. 
all these tests that you guys see, you're in places that have 16, 18, 20 inches of ice. I have this much ice. I have the full length of the pistol bit of ice. And it's not just a walk in the park. Let me tell you, cobalt going into the charger to warm up. And now is the beast. The 36 volt Metabo HPT. Are you ready? 36 inch, or 36 volt metabolist, br metabo, bleh, 36 volt, 1220 inch pound, metabo, brushless, HBT drill in three, two, one. <laughs> I can already tell. If it stops, I'll be surprised. I went so deep that I forgot to pull it up. <laughs> now it's stuck in the hole. <laughs> oh. Next time I'll do a better job of pulling it out of the hole. <laughs> okay, there is absolutely, without a doubt, next time I've got 36 inches of ice, I didn't pull any out of the hole that time, that's a rookie move. But that's because this thing was just power and I just didn't want to stop. Okay, let's do another one with this thing. Did it do anything to the battery? No, we're still on full bars. <laughs> Sorry, Milwaukee. You're good, but I don't think you're this good. Let's do one more. So we already know, in, in my mind, I now know which drill is the winner. Okay, we're gonna do one more and I'm gonna do it properly this time. Three, two, I got a wobble here. Why is there a wobble? It's in the pistol bit itself. Three, two, one, and go. <laughs> this is fun. Man, the thing pulls so hard. I can't even. <laughs> it pulls it, I can't even pull it back out. It's pulling so hard. There you go, guys. Metabo HPT 36 volt, multi-volt lithium ion. This is the king of drills. Let's do the Strike Master next. I'll be back. All right guys, round two. Again, we're gonna start with the rigid. It completely failed the last test. I wasn't able to drill a hole. But now we have the light flight, which is surprisingly heavier than the pistol bit. But the pistol bit is a, like I said, it's an ION G2 flight. So it is super, super light, but you need the power and speed of the ION G2 for that thing to cut a hole. The Metabo HVT has that power, but will the Strike Master work with the Rigid? So here's a test. The Strike Master uh, Light Flight 8 inch with a Rigid brushless 750 inch pound drill. 
with a four amp hour battery in three, two, one, go. again the chuck sucks on this thing anyways as you can see that was actually not really any problem for that guy so I don't know what it is with the chucks I'm tightening them all the way I'm ratcheting them all the way but they're just not they're not holding that they're at least the rigid ones not holding so now we're gonna do this in a little bit of a different different light this time because I would say that the cobalt came in second. The cobalt is next on the on the list. So the cobalt with the light flight. In three, two, one. pounding holes so that's only test number two but I can very clearly tell you right now the strike master is kicking the pistol bits ass cobalt so right now the rigid is definitely in last place cobalt's currently winning for sure now we're gonna confirm this by the numbers but we're actually gonna try now the regular brushless Milwaukee here. It never got a chance to do the last round, but that's because it just wasn't, uh, I might give it a chance to do the other one. We'll see how it does here. Okay, Strike Master Light Flight with a standard Milwaukee brushless. Let's see how she does. bit twisty on the old hands but she did it it's time for the big bad fuel back to the big Milwaukee here's the Milwaukee 2804 1200 inch pound 18 volt brushless with a strike master light flight in three two one I'm actually pushing on this one the other ones I couldn't. Oh yeah. Man, this light flight is awesome. Back to the big boy. This one kicked ass on the last one. I feel like this chuck isn't as good on this uh, on this Metabo. Okay, I guess I gotta start there again on top of 36 volt brushless 1220 inch pound multi volt HPT drill <laughs> so many names and model numbers and the things in three two one boom I'm pushing on this one also Oh boy. Okay, so there's no question on this one. I don't think. We're gonna go back to instant replay. We're gonna see which one of these are the best. But I'll tell you right now, 
This guy comes with two eight amp hour batteries. Now 30, at 36 volt, they're four amp hour, but this is a dual voltage battery. So it's 18 volt, eight amp hour, 36 volt four. So when you talk about how much power is actually in one of these, this is gonna have like 140 watt hours in it. You're gonna have to go to like a nine amp hour red lithium to get the same sort of power capacity as what you're getting out of one of these. Maybe an eight amp hour. I'll do the math here and figure out which one. But man, this drill was $429 Canadian, 350, something like that. The Milwaukee Fuel 2804 with, uh, with two batteries was, I wanna say 549 with two of the five amp hour batteries, which are smaller batteries than this for 549. So this has got at least $100, $150, $130 cheaper and it pounds the Milwaukee. The problem is, is that this system isn't very robust. I really hope that Hitachi Power Tools, Metabo, whatever, that they get on it and they get us some more tools to go with this system. Because if they had a full line of tools and they were right in that same price range as the Milwaukee Fuel, you got a tool on your hands, you guys. Also, if you're making that choice between the Strike Master and the Eskimo pistol bit, I gotta say that Strike Master is turning more, more ice and it's cutting a great hole. It actually feels smoother. Unless that thing's just messed up and I've got multiple sets of bad bits, that thing is just, it, it just pulls so hard. It just doesn't cut the same. This guy wins. Match made in heaven, guys. Okay, last we're gonna do the Strike Master. There it is. I gotta be honest, this is a lot heavier. Like this head is like, this isn't a toy, you guys. Like, don't get me wrong, it isn't no gas auger, but let me tell you, she ain't no ultralight. Definitely that 36 volt with this guy is definitely lighter. This is what everybody really wanted. And this is what they always wanted all the way along. And you know, it's one of those things where realistically Strike Master should have kind of offered this to begin with, the 40 volt with the light plight. You can buy it. So what I did is I bought the 10 inch 40 volt with the heavy big beast flight. And I bought this pistol. I want to call it the pistol bit, but I bought the light flight drill adapter. So now I can use both. I can use just a drill or I can use this guy. I can take the 10 incher out. I can put, you know, this adapter, the drill adapter in the 10 incher and try that as well. I might do a video on that. Post a comment. Please post a comment and please subscribe. Uh, this is a brand new channel. I'm just getting started. And you know what? When someone has uh, a million viewers, it's easy for a video to really take off and do well. But when you're starting off a brand new YouTube channel and you've got no viewers or nothing, it really makes a big difference to guys like us. If you can like it, you don't even have to subscribe, just like and comment. I would, be, I would love if you would subscribe just to help me do these because this was a really, really expensive video for my first video. And to be honest, I won't be able to keep this pace up very long if I don't have some sort of uh, money coming in to make this all work. So anyways, this is the final and last, the Strike Master Light Flight, 40 volt, eight inch. Time to rock and roll in three, two, one. Man, is that smooth. I will say that it's way smoother. Right to the bottom, eh? And that's it. So here's the deal. This is my first ever cut with a lithium auger. I've always used gas. And I do have to say that was super, super, super smooth. It takes off really slow to kind of get started into the cut. And then it accelerates as it goes. Um, man, that's a nice hole. It made a nice hole. It cleared the hole nice. It didn't jam up at the bottom. I will say with those drills, you just don't have that same sort of grip. So we're gonna do a quick video or a quick uh, recap on the times of all these. I'll post them now, or maybe I'll post them. We'll have already seen them. You will have already seen them go. We'll see which one's faster. 
when it really comes down to it, for your 700 bucks, I mean, your 400 bucks for the drill and two batteries, it, I doubt that it'll do as much cutting as what this will do. And I mean, again, if you wanna see that in a video, the Metabo 36 volt versus the 40 volt Strike Master head, both doing the eight inch light flight, we can see how many holes they drill. I mean, let me know if you want it. Just click like and say, yes, I do want that. And I'll make it happen. Thanks for watching you guys. Like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.